HaKadosh Baruch Hu is waiting for us. Hashem is waiting for us to search for Him, to find Him. Everybody has questions. And we have to understand that there is, there, sometimes there are just not answers for some things. You think scientists have the answers for everything? Absolutely not. Nobody has the answers for everything. That's called life. Welcome. You're never going to know everything. But as a, matter, as a matter of fact, in Judaism and the Torah, we have more answers than anybody else does. However, HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, I've given you enough answers. There are some things that are just, just for me to know. And you're not going to find out in this lifetime. That is something called trust. Are you still going to trust me? Or is that going to break you? I've always told people, you know, sometimes you have to let children that ask questions, let them be left with some questions. I'm talking about minor questions. Sometimes even a child has to know that, yeah, sometimes you're not going to get the answers for everything. Sometimes you have to just do with, I don't know. It's okay. Because you're going to grow up, and when you're an older man, when you're mid-aged, you're going to have a lot of questions. And if you can't handle the fact that you don't know some things, you're going to lose your mind. Because life is full of questions. Rabbi Baruch Mizbuz, who was the, um, who was the, uh, um, the he, he was the grandson of the Baal Shem Tov. He was once sitting and he was learning. And in his learning, his grandson walks in crying. There's tears coming down this kid's cheeks. It's a six, seven-year-old kid. And the grandfather's trying to calm him down. What's wrong? What happened? And he can't catch his breath to tell his grandfather how, what happened and what made him so upset. Finally, once he calms him down, gives him some water to drink, he says, what happened? He says, I was playing hide-and-go-seek with my friends outside. He says, okay, nothing's wrong with that. There's nothing sad about that. It's a fun game. He says, yeah, and it was my turn to hide. And I hid, and nobody found me. So he says, you must have hid in such a great place. He says, no, Tad, you don't realize. No one even came to look for me. And to that, the rough starts to cry. And he looks at his grandson and he says, you see, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is crying also. He says, all these years I've been hiding and no one comes to look for me. Because Hashem says, Hashem says in the Torah, there will come a time that I will hide my face from you. That happened, the time of Purim. Esther, that's called Esther, her real name was what? Hadassah. She was renamed Esther from the word Hester, which means hidden. A new time was beginning for Am Yisrael where God was going to hide his face, hide his miracles. No more open miracles for Am Yisrael, which meant now you have to search. There's a lot of times in history that you will not see me. There are going to be holocausts that you're going to look at and say, where is God? And Hashem is going to be turning to every single individual and say, I'm here. You just haven't been looking for me. HaKadosh Baruch Hu has all the answers. But see, it just became a little harder for us to get those answers from Him. He just wants us to look for Him, search for Him. And by just asking questions, it's not going to happen. It's by researching. It's by learning His Torah. The only way to come to answers is by actually delving into where the answers are. And that's the Torah Tanakh And even with that, there are going to be things that are going to be left unanswered. But that's okay, because that's life. Life has questions. Life has ups and downs. But what keeps us going every day is knowing that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is with us every step of the way. Baruch Adonai Amen